But Camille, it gets Camille, can you do a close up of like a chicken's cloaca right now? I don't know. <laughs> like, no. look at that. Look at that Stop cloaca. It. Actually, yeah. Paul, Paul yes. Oh my what? god, can you put up like yes. a, like a galaxy no, it's behind us? We're like, whoa. We're, like, like, we're like in a okay, galaxy. Okay, so I think, okay, who? Yeah, like that could be a background. Think, we're like I'm in a galaxy. Get... Hello ladies and Aaron, welcome to today's episode of Unpremeditated, the small corner of the internet where each week Danielle and Camille and today me, Tina, share our unabridged, unscripted, and unpremeditated thoughts with the world wide web. I kind of lied when I said it was unscripted, because if you think about it, this kind of is scripted. Well, it, the, it's that our reaction is unscripted. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. You prepare content, but I You our... never know what I'm going to say. <laughs> Dude, where did my- Danielle's like, I'm an enigma bitch. Okay, here. <laughs> Today, we are going to be talking about strange occupations that you can actually get hired for. So, Danielle and Camille are going to college next year. Yay! After you go to college, you mm -hmm. gotta start thinking about your jobs. Okay. Now, none of these that I wrote out here technically require a college degree. So, if you think about it, you could do this while right you're now. in college. Like, you could do it right, right now. Right second. I don't have to go to college. Now, granted, these are kind of a little bit boring, but, like, you, you kind of earn a lot of money doing this. Yeah, okay, so the first one mm -hmm. is a Netflix show watcher. Oh, I've heard about no, that. Oh, I yes. do that. Where you get to, like, categorize, like, the genre. Yes, room Netflix you know? hires people to watch and rate all the content before it's available. So, you know, like, your favorite show, Stranger oh. Things, 13 Reasons Why. All those need to get, like, categorized into certain genres. Yeah. And... They also rank them in terms of customer sa satisfaction. So, like, when you're scrolling through your Netflix after, like, five hours of binging, mm -hmm. what Netflix recommends next is because of these people who rate it. And you know how Netflix has, like, the recommended and, like, the top favorites? Yeah. yeah. Those top favorites not only come from mm -hmm. data from, like, people who are watching it after it's released, it also comes from, like, preferences of the people who watch it before. So. Mm -hmm. We That's no me and me and Danielle could tell and commute and we like she would come to my house and we would just watch it and then we yeah. would do our rating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, HBO and other platforms also do the same thing, but they pay a little bit less because it's those platforms aren't yeah, as like trendy. As many, yeah. Um, watches can get paid between five to eighty dollars per day, and the yeah. average for the people who watch this is like seventy thousand a year. But granted, you do have to do full commitment for Netflix, so like. You have to sign contracts, non-disclosures, oh, wow. that basically say you won't spoil it, because that's a thing. Can I do it for like a week and then stop? Part-time? Over spring break. Spring break. Spring break. <laughs> <laughs> Just be a part-time Netflix you know, show. Pavlin, come in too. What's up, Pavlin? Oh, hey, Pavlin. Go get a chair, Aaron. You know what? You sit. I'll, I'll, I like to sit. Are you going to actually like sit, sit in the recording? Yeah, room? that's what I meant. Yeah. yeah. That's like the whole idea. That's the whole talent. I'm going to be here. So, uh, Aaron and Pavlin have joined us. Pavlin is, is new. Hello. Yay. What's up, boys? <laughs> Aaron, what is happening? Pavle, go, go for it. I don't know. You, I don't know what's happening. His but... name, Pavle. Say, say your last name. <laughs> Bitch. Yeah. That's how you say your last name. I'm yeah. just saying it wrong this whole time. Me. Oh, yeah. Aaron, I'm fairly really certain everyone's been saying. I'm very. We, there's already been an intro. We're doing it. Sorry. Aaron Lasberg, Danielle Henry, I like, Tina. Yes, yeah. last name. He, he, he doesn't. He doesn't know your last name. He's never heard it. Yeah. Try. I want to see I, what he says. Come on, say your way. But it's like the most <laughs> stereotypical. Like you have a chance of you guessing. Have a chance. Fine, you win. No, I'm, she's not Vietnamese. Though. I'm not Vietnamese. Yeah, I'm oh. Chinese. Chinese. All right. Chinese. Oh, he wasn't in that episode where we just talked about like her whole Chinese background. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't. <laughs> he was not present. Did you listen to the episode? Uh, no, I haven't. It's Lee. <laughs> Do you remember in middle school there was like nine Lees in my yeah. grade, and we would just all oh, wow. there's just a Wait, line, two Lee. lines of Lees in our yearbook. Damn. And okay. Shri, you know, that's what happens when you go to Roger. That's fair. Shri Kamani, she made a TikTok. She was like, all the lead. And it was like, pretty funny. It was pretty, pretty funny. funny. Okay, second job. The whole time. Second job that you can take. <laughs> Should. Watching paint dry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. Absolutely not. You can get paid. <laughs> From forty thousand to sixty thousand a year. Oh, no. No, <laughs> you, no, you just watch paint dry, no. and the reason why is because paint companies like Sherman and Williams need to no. measure the time it takes for paint to dry. I could probably to put that on their lab labels. Now. Are you kidding? And you know, like, no. when you buy paint, it's and like you need to estimate the time for how long it takes. That's this person's oh, jobs. God, so, like, I feel like they could be easily automated. But forty thousand. 
to sixty thousand a year. Honestly, uh, your or, in, your entry or, level nurse is like forty six. Or if. hear this, <laughs> I can be a Netflix watcher and earn seventy thousand dollars a year. True. Would you, you watch it? Paint Dry for forty sixty thousand dollars a year? Well, like it's better than just doing nothing for a year and getting nothing for, for a year. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Better not than wrong. Nothing, but like. I have options. I, I don't want. I, I don't have better things to do. Like you think I'm productive with my time? No, I watch political YouTube videos <laughs> and sleep. Sounds about right, bro. Okay. I don't want to go to Gov today. Oh God! I thought really we have really oh, God. Michigan just okay. came out. I don't want. to yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is also really confusing. Is it pro, like, capitalism? Or yes. is he pro- Oh, it's his yes. religion. Insanely That's his so. only perspective. Oui, 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 mademoiselle. Okay, then why does he keep, like, posting images of, like, communist leaders in his classroom? Oh, he because didn't put them there. It's people, a people thought yeah. it would be funny to put it in his room and watch him, like, take it down. He just didn't. He didn't just take it. He just didn't take it. Well, um, one of them okay. is, like, uh, He's not funny to standing frame. over Stalin's dead body. So, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. I mean, that would make sense. Anyways, next job. You probably know this already. Professional bridesmaid. People pay you to make their yeah. wedding look really big. People do that. My dad got invited to his patient's wedding, mm -hmm. and he got really pissed off because he found out that they also paid a lot of people to make the wedding look really big. Like, they Bro. they not only did that, they also invited, like, the most insignificant people, like, the person that washes their laundry. It was so weird. But he got really mad. But they're mostly employed in places like Las Vegas, where a lot of people go to get hitched. And didn't plan anything. Yeah. Hey, Elvis, marry us right now. Let's go. In addition, they also act as like a pseudo wedding planner, so they need to plan mm -hmm. things really qu quickly and make sure that the bride doesn't have to do anything. Did you know Can that you make weddings the background like a wedding? Are mostly oh, yeah. <laughs> like oh, look at the rose petals. <laughs> and you get paid up to two hundred fifty an hour. Whoa! So, what? That's kind of a lot. If you you get paid it. 300 bucks an hour to be an underwater welder. <laughs> Which yeah. takes significantly more skill. If you think about it, if you add that up and you were consistently working like a 40 hour week. Bro, that's, that's a, a lot six of money. Figure. That's, that's a six figure. Bro, that's Maybe someone, yeah. someone I would do that. I don't think that. you can work that. Like, Just be a bridesmaid. Yeah, it's going to be more regular. I don't think you can do it. Yeah. Like, what are you going to do if there's no weddings that want to hire you? <laughs> this is... So professional. Are you bridesmaidy you enough? Thank you. <laughs> you just sitting on the floor, but oddly enough, still close to Tina's height. <laughs> Stop! I'm sitting on my feet right now. There you go. Okay. That doesn't make it any better. It. I don't feel like it. Okay. Hot. <laughs> she got me. Next job. You can brew your condo other people's luggage. Professional luggage. Oh, I would do it. That would be I mean, my job. Would that would be have luggage. Yes. No. Have you heard of like the chefs that do the food prep? It's like this, but for like people's clothes. So you need okay. to pack luggage really quickly. Mostly employed in like business industry where people need to travel. Oh, really I don't want to do it quickly. I want to just put them. Yeah, people <laughs> want to like pack their own luggage, so they hire these people. But you can also get paid up to two hundred fifty. Then you wouldn't so you just take a while? So I spent four yeah. hours. Yeah. So logically, if you take four hours, that's one thousand dollars right there. So oh, yeah. logically, if you take four hours, you get fired. <laughs> yeah, true. You would never get recommended to anybody and ever again. Last trips. I actually looked on like Craigslist, and this is like a whole another subcategory. Whoa. Pack my luggage for me. That's like a whole like job system thing. I almost considered signing <laughs> up, but then I realized I can't even pack my pack my own luggage. Yeah, so like that's like, like. Anyways, I'm great at packing luggage. Craigslist shops. I feel like you, you might- I love Craigslist jobs. <laughs> I've been so many fake dads, it's just great. Oh my kids, god. I just get kids out of middle school. Just oh, they- they- That is my- They just hire me. Right? No, no, because yeah, the, the kids will scroll hard. on Craigslist and be like, well, money. That's a little bit scary. Yeah, they use their Why French credit card. Wait, what were you going to say? Aaron, if you're allowed to do that, anyone is allowed to- Exactly. I don't think you know what Craigslist is, Danielle. <laughs> no, I don't- Okay. Yes, Camille. <laughs> Anyways, anyways. I mean, it's like not you. legal, but they don't know. <laughs> it's like, hi, can I pick up Jimmy? Yeah. Okay, I feel like Camille would like this next job. Oh, okay. Professional sleeper. Yeah, I Yo! Oh, I would love but listen, you get paid 15k sleeper. a year. That's like nothing. Oh, that's like But you do money. it for doing basically nothing. You get it. Wait, wait, what, so what do they do? Is it just okay, like so supplemental? It's a job only found in Finland. And hotels will pay people to come in and sleep in their like rooms and rate the beds. 
That's what you're getting paid for. You're getting paid. You get free lounging because you're sleeping. And you also get paid. Do you get free no. breakfast on the train? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I want full continental breakfast. Paolo just wants to be fed. Day, you want me to come yeah, up? Yeah, I get like free breakfast. breakfast. Like, yeah. I'm sleeping. Like, yeah. Four years, you get like 60k. Next one. Good. Professional hitchhiker. You, oh, that's Aaron incredible. would do that. Aaron would do that People right now. People would pay you money. Place. He could do it too. People would pay you Without, money like, getting to nap. sit in their car so they can go to the toll lane, the free car full lanes, instead of oh paying the toll. Oh my god. Okay, okay, pay, you get someone yard? to drive in the yeah. HOV lane for you. Okay, yeah. but for it to work, they have to pay you less than they would pay for the toll. Yeah, yeah. you would lose money. Yeah. But it's also kind of legal, so. I mean, At least yeah. in the U.S. Wait, why, why is that illegal? Because it's be late. It doesn't matter if, if yeah. as long as there's two people, you're fine. Like, you well, know? I guess the assumption is that it's supposed to encourage like carpooling and like having, you know. No, yeah. but like yeah, it's supposed. To it's be. not illegal for the person paying you. It's illegal for the person offering the service. Huh? Why? Because they're not traveling with you. They're like traveling on the HOV lane, and then they just walk back to their original <laughs> spot. So <gasps> that's like avoiding to paying the toll. That's I why see, it's illegal. I see, I see. Um, it's efficient. most prominent in areas. That's the air would start. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not yeah. Efficient. Why wouldn't you just go down the It's like most prominent yeah. come back. in areas of high traffic. So like, God, we we have so much room to like <laughs> revolutionize this industry. Please no, we don't need any more Potential. revolutions, girl. I really don't need a single a single revolution. Okay, really there's don't. no solid <laughs> rate pay rate, but like according to someone on Reddit, which is highly accurate, super accurate, it I'm pays right. around fifteen dollars one trip. Which is like cheaper for okay. toll for certain distances. Yeah. So that's like assuming you're going like 400 miles. Oh, on, like, yeah. Yeah. For 15 HFT. bucks, you want to sit in someone's car road. for 400 miles? I don't know. Some people are crazy. How could you walk back 400 miles? But what you do back it? in someone else's this car? This is one of the most impractical. Not for $15, bro. Wait, how do you get back to where you are? I don't know. Did you just say a greyhound? Like, 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 have you ever, there was some homeless lady walking in the HOV lane when I was driving to school today. She was just walking yeah, in the yeah. morning. I, I was like, her. the most dangerous part I was of going the job isn't the actually like riding a stranger's car, it's crossing yeah, the highway. Yeah. <laughs> That's commitment right there. Okay, this one's kind of really funny. I really like it. It's a chicken gender determiner. I knew it was going to be this one. <laughs> you said it's funny. You've heard of it? Yeah. Yes. What? Literally. It's a pretty popular job in the UK, actually. Because what? I've been um, making money this whole time. I want to no. sex. I love sexing chickens heck? on the weekends. So no. I this is not ready. <laughs> no, because chickens. Um, I think you should know this from apes. You too. I mean, if you're doing what you love, you never work a day in your life. But. Chickens don't have when they're young. They don't. The gender isn't blatantly yeah, obvious. You, like they don't, don't have know. like the little crown. You don't know until five month five, mm -hmm. and if you have like. Six male chickens that are adolescents in the same cage, they're all about to die because they get really aggressive they and start attacking each other. Wait, do I get to kill the male chicken? No. no. So you don't want that. So you want you want to make sure you know the gender of the chickens so you can separate them properly ah, and make yes, profit from the chickens yes. before they kill each other. So yes. you hire these people to determine the chicken gender the chicken and stop a massacre from happening. My god, can you put like a or, chicken bar behind us like this? Or as <laughs> gives purpose in cages. Yeah, what? but I'm that's like a chicken right now. Consider in the UK that's considered yeah, a chicken. Okay. It's in my hand yeah, and it's Camille's end and then she do? sucks. <laughs> True. Holding but a chicken and no, <laughs> what does the <laughs> job actually entail? What, what's the job requirement? The Just job requirement is chicken. to know how to find the gender of the chicken, which is surprisingly actually really hard. You should do a like 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 turn it you turn it upside down. Yeah, basically. But like people don't want to do that. But if Camille, do a close up of like a Chicken's cloaca right now. <laughs> like, no. look at that. Look at that stop cloaca. It. You're gonna stop? be pointing to like a rainbow or something stupid. Like, it's not gonna be. <laughs> You're gonna see. Be... Okay, no. You only get paid thirty thousand a year, oh. so that's not that bad. What? But... No. I mean, at least I get to look at chickens' like... buttholes all day. <laughs> see? Did you know chickens die when you sex them? What? I yeah, they do. Well, Wait, the one why? Because they like they like <laughs> panic. <about it. laughs> Oh, like. High five, get you some. <laughs>
No, but actually chickens get like scared and die really easily, so. Aww. But they also can run around without their heads, and that freaks me out. So I'm like, it's kind of a fair. You can cut off a person's head, like, like, yeah. People do that too. And then the last job is a human scarecrow. <laughs> See that the title of Daniel. that job is already uh, here. Please, please tell me because you like just the whole... get to stand in fields. <laughs> yeah. field. You get paid to stand in fields no. and act, move around because that was my mom's chores as a child. I do not know what you mean. No. Birds and pests get acclimated to like the scarecrow statue, so you need to hire people to move around. That's why you move the statue every like two months. Why would you get a person? Some people. It's also like. I think it's also like you're supposed to move the statue. Camille, can you see below the table? No, <laughs> I can. I can pan down there. No, no. no. What are you doing? Wow, did you see this just start vibrating? It made you look like the girl from The Shining. <laughs> Aaron is the girl from The Shining. Yeah, yeah, I can. I felt it earlier. Oh my god, weird. I feel like wow, you guys are so well lit. <laughs> I can right. They look like it. Okay, why? Guys, they look, look like goddesses. Why is it like freaking out? Oh, it's because someone's about to die. I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist okay. here, but it probably is the three lights. Yeah. Okay. Bro, no, you guys look so like good. <laughs> Illuminati is just renamed as College Board, and that's on period. Oh, Tell right. me why Pearson is taking over okay, my college education. Tell me why they're a non-profit organization yeah, that they profits make every year. What do you mean they're they a non-profit? Like, oh, college it Board is, is non-profit. This thing no! Is I spent so much time. I spent so much money. And me I believe money. the term is not for profit, which means that at the end of the year they can't have any money left over. But they can still pay the CEOs three billion dollars. Which means they just spend extra money then. They just do what we were talking about with the grants. They just splurge on twenty thousand iPads like okay. my mom did. Yeah. You know what? So my capitalism is clearly broken. But we've tried right. communism and it didn't work. We can do a Bernie Sanders and just rebuild our economic system. The only system. thing left is to go back. Feudalism and <laughs> the just price. The guys, idea of the I want to be a serf. Let me be a serf. God. It's right. like a serf dog. Instead of being honest. a slave. Let me be <laughs> a and a that's what capitalism is. And that's, and that's on capitalism. And that is on. Being a that's on colonialism. That's on world history. But you're telling me feudalism is where it's at, bro. bro. You're telling me you serve. guys don't want to be wage cucks. <laughs> oh my god! All I'm saying, all I'm, revolution. all I'm saying is, I would rather have to address someone as me lord <laughs> than <laughs> boss. <laughs> yeah. At least then the the, 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 yes, lord. the lord, the lord, the lord. 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 At least, like, you're a lord will, like, straight up be an asshole because they, like, own you, you know? But, like, if you're a your boss, boss will you can go... be as, it's passive-aggressive. Your and boss it... will go up to you and they'll you. pretend to I'd rather friend. someone whip me than tell me I'm dumb. <laughs> I'd rather okay. just be honest about okay. it, you know? I don't want, I don't want, uh, like, okay, a boss go going up friend, to me and be like, okay. so what are you doing with this wife <sighs> this weekend, Jimbo? Like, how's the wife? <laughs> like, you don't care. Yeah, you don't nah, care. I just want to farm potatoes till I'm dead. I don't exactly. like the Aaron Brent Center. I don't like how the power shift is. He already Bye. yells over everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Fuck you guys. I am in charge. <laughs> I'll give enough, the episodes that Aaron's in were like way more entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm kind of mad about it, this but. Ew. Hey, it's a me, entertaining boy. Okay. It's a me, a Mario. Wahoo. Do you want to close yeah, it out? Yeah, also the most heavily. Do you want to close it out? Oh my god, give me that so I can forget it's a microphone. And leave it said, and there better be a chicken, Cloaca, up on this green screen. <laughs> you were. Oh, you know, it's it's been fun. Been having a good time. So, guys. If Camille doesn't put a chick chicken cold like up behind me, uh, I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. But other than that, uh, it's been nice. Hope you had a good time. Why is Feel this calm, suddenly normal? Relaxed. Why, why does your voice sound nice when you have feeling, a Feeling, feeling fresh. <laughs> Met my friend Pablo Buva and, <laughs> and and my other friend Dan Danielle Henry. You know, uh, and me, Aaron Lasper. I love that you just probably moved out of her. I 100% assumed I'm like you. So, so, so. Listen, guys. You know, Listen, guys. Smash, smash that like button. Hit subscribe and uh, ding that bell. Leave a comment. How now, many of these things. do you actually get? One, two. It's like five and it's all him. Yeah, it's like Aaron watching it five times. Uh, yeah, and so, hi, Aaron. 
<laughs> Future Aaron, thank you for watching. Good to see you. There's um, not whatever you asked for behind I bet, you. I bet you're, you you're hating looking at yourself. <laughs> Literally, Polly, our intro was Hello, Ladies and Aaron. <laughs> yeah. It's, a, it's, it's just Yeah, me. because it's me, Arushi, Tina, and Aaron. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to sign out. Uh, they're going to play some copyrighted music and prevent themselves from actually getting in the re people's recommended feeds. Exactly. So, oh, that's the thing. Danielle, can you do our like, actual outro? outro? Fuck you. They have like 30 views on the Guys, first episode. Guys, it's like 30 views. the 30 minute <laughs> mark, you. not 40. Take it from me. The transition music from our show uh, comes from either popular songs and movies. Y'all know this. Um, and so, if you guess this one's correctly, we'll give you a shout out. But because Aaron is the one that guesses and he's really bad at he it. He doesn't guess anything. You know, I don't guess. I don't post like no troll. One I just troll in the he comments. He is our only troll. <laughs> <laughs> but hey guys, if you try hard, Who's this Aaron guy? Know. He seems pretty All cool. Right, last <laughs> Should I have him week's on more? clip. It's right there. Last week's clip is, is really a it? song released in 1988. An astronaut on the ISS who listens to that song will have You're traveled right? almost exactly 1,000 miles while that song is playing. Oh, that's actually. It's oh. I'm going to be 500 miles. Yeah. So then oh, when... oh, I'm stupid. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait. Guys, that's we the made clip. It. We made it. We made it. It's happening. guys. <laughs> okay, no, um, and then no, we don't have hints because we haven't picked a song yet. But insert whatever editor Camille decides to put over here. Yay! Cool. Insert. <laughs> Coming to you directly from the editing room for your hints. This week's clip is the theme song of a very popular TV show based on a book series by Sarah Shepard. As usual, this episode is executive produced and hosted by Camille and Danielle, along with producer Tina. Today with us, we have Aaron and Pavle. Yay. Super exciting. Wow, guys. Thank you so much. You really did Such not even. riveting information. <laughs> okay. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>